NBC 5 News. 23 years ago, Minneapolis hosted the first International Skating Union World Synchronized Skating Championships, and now it's coming to our region. It's a mouthful. As NBC 5's Eric Kerr tells us, bringing this event to Lake Placid is years in the making. 16 athletes skating in sync. That's the name of the game. You've got 32 blades that are trying to do the same exact movements at the same time. It's the first time the ISU World Synchronized Skating Championships are in Lake Placid. The village was supposed to host the games in 2020, but COVID-19 led to a change in the initial plans. Three years later, the wait is over. I mean, it's so incredible to be finally making this event happen. We've been planning this for so long. Uh, these athletes have anticipated coming here for so long. We didn't know if they were ever going to come back here, so it's really special for us to get to skate here. Um, for both of us, this is our first time skating at a home world competition. More than 20 teams from around the world, including countries such as Croatia, the Czech Republic, and of course, the United States are bringing their talents to the Herb Brooks Arena. And one of those teams includes the Hayden Nats from the USA, who have won 13 straight national titles in synchronized skating, but even they couldn't ignore the history that Lake Placid has to offer. I mean, there's so much. I mean, obviously the Olympic signs on every building is super cool. Also the history that's, you know, printed in some of the hallways with Sonia Henney and all the different skaters. The ISU hopes having the championships in Lake Placid will bring more attention to synchronized skating and maybe even make it into a future Winter Olympic Games. Everywhere across the world has been involved in synchronized skating, so it's always our mission to continue to spread that awareness, not only to creating teams, but also to spectators and fans. There's still time to check it out. Tickets are available on the ISU website for the competitions this Friday and Saturday. In Lake Placid, Eric Kerr, NBC5 News.